Vishnu is resting at that time. So they stopped them from entering the gate. Brahma's sons got angry and uh, he cursed both of the doorkeepers, Jaya and Vijaya. Their names were Jaya and Vijaya. So they cursed them that they would be born as humans on, on earth. So then they pleaded, but Brahma's son could not take could not do anything. So then um, Vishnu came hearing all this. He apologized for his uh, gatekeepers, but uh, the curse could not be taken taken back. Only Vishnu himself uh, killed them and brought them back. So then they were born as uh, two two brothers, Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha. Hiranyaksha was a devotee of Lord Brahma. So then Lord Brahma, he was happy and he gave him a boon. In that boon, it said, no animal or beast, human or God, can kill him. So then uh, in that, uh, he started torturing the people of earth and uh, harassing the devatas. Then he uh, put uh, earth, Mahabhumi, into the Patal Loka and submerged it in the ocean. So then, um, also he had invaded Devaloka. They, um, there were two people ruling the earth at that time so then um, i forgot the names yeah they they were ruling the earth their husband and wife so uh, they um, they were asking L lord brahma what to do because uh, their only home earth is submerged so then Lord Brahma thought to do something and he started meditating to Lord Vishnu. Then he realized uh, that a small boar came out of his nostrils and uh, it began to grow and grow. Then he realized that was Lord Vishnu in his Varaha Avatara. So then, yes. Yeah, as so the people who were, yeah, Manu and his wife Shatarupa were ruling over earth. Seeing this, Manu and his wife came to Lord Brahma and bowed and said, Father, tell us how many ways serve you and ensure the happiness in this world and the next. Where should uh, Shatarupa and I live as Mother Earth is submerged in the ocean? Lord Brahma became worried and started meditating. Then a small boar came out of Brahma's nostrils. Wondering what that creature was, it grew and grew till it was the size of a large mountain. It was Lord Vishnu and he said, I will enter into the ocean to lift Mother Earth out of it. He took the form of a boar to kill Hiranyaksha because while getting the boon, among all the animals, Hiranyaksha forgot to mention boar as an animal. So then, yeah. emitting a terrifying roar, Lord Vishnu uh, took one mighty leap into the air, tore the clouds with his hooves and dived into the bed of the ocean in search of Mother Earth. He reached the other end of the ocean and discovered in its depths Bhumi Devi. Meanwhile, Hiranyaksha rushed to the seashore where he encountered Varuna, Lord of the Ocean, and challenged him. O Supreme, o Supreme Lord, O Guardian of the whole sphere, come and have battle with me. Varuna became very angry because he knew at this moment Hiranyaksha was mightier than him. So he curbed his anger and said, I am too old to fight. Only Vishnu is an equal opponent. Go, see, go seek him out. Suddenly Narada arrived there. 
Hiranyaksha asked him, do you know the whereabouts of Vishnu? Narada answered, uh, Vishnu is in the ocean, rescuing Mother Earth. Angry Hiranyaksha charged towards, towards the ocean bed. Meanwhile, the boar had dug his tusk into the ocean bed and lifted Mother Earth onto it. It began rising to the surface. Hiranyaksha rushed to him with a mace in his hand, saying, You fraudulent fellow, why, where are you carrying away the earth conquered by me? Stop or I'll crush your head with this mace. Hiranyaksha challenged Lord Vishnu in a form in the form of boar to have battle with him. But Vishnu ignored all his warnings and continued rising to the surface. Seeing this, Hiranyaksha gave a chase, but the boar did not the boar didn't even look back. Hiranyaksha said, Wait, I know you can defeat me with all your magic power, but at present you are near me and I'll show surely defeat you. The boar escaped to put Mother Earth at a safe place. To this, Hiranyaksha became very angry and shouted, How can you run away like that, a coward? Return, my, return me my earth. The earth was already frightened, seeing Hiranyaksha. It began to tremble more. Lord Vishnu in Varahavatara brought earth over the surface of the ocean and placed it gently on its axis and blessed her. Then turned to face Hiranyaksha. The demon threw his mace at the bow, but the bow stepped aside and raised his mace. They fought for a long time with their mace. Now Brahma warned Vishnu, you only have an hour before the sunset. Destroy the demon before it's dark so that he gets no opportunity to resort his black ma magic. Hearing Brahma's words, Hiranyaksha hurled his mace towards Lord Vishnu, but later flung it away. Having lost the mace, Hiranyaksha began hitting out with his face on the chest of the boat. Lord Vishnu in Varahavatara hit Hiranyaksha hard on his face and with his fist and tossed him in the air. He fell over his head and died on the spot. Manu got his earths back and the gods got back their heaven. In this way, Lord Vishnu and in Varaha Avatara slayed Hiranyaksha and saved Mother Earth from harm. Thank you.